<clears throat> Sheikh, I've made you the host. So if you want to share your screen or something, so you may do it. I just made you the host of the session, inshallah. That's fine. That's fine. Now we are live, we are live now. Yeah, we are live in, in just two minutes. I'm just making it. Okay, inshallah. Okay. Okay, and now we are live. So, Auzu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I welcome you all in this uh, live session of Quran recitation and memorization. As you already know that uh, we have started this exclusive program with uh, our renowned and acknowledged Sheikh Muhammad Al Shahad. He has been teaching in Jamiatul Azhar for past uh, more than forty years and uh, he required no further introduction. Uh, inshallah, we are going to start formally. As you know, you can join this class and, and all of these uh, uh, course with us. Uh, all you need to do, go to our page, alnafi.com slash recite. And there you can see how you can do it. I'll show you my screen as well in uh, coming time. And uh, then you can know that how you can do it and uh, you will get the link of how to register for this course in our comment section as well inshallah so over to you sheikh bismillah okay. <clears throat> rahman rahim alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah sayyidina muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa ba'd assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to your live session about this a great journey with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we hope inshallah at the end of this journey that we started to get ijazah I would like you inshallah to have this goal to get an ijazah in tajweed or hifz and getting an ijazah on tajweed or hifz is one of the greatest achievements in one's Quranic learning journey. And we are here, inshallah, to prepare you for success, inshallah. And the ijazah, what does ijazah mean? Ijazah means it's a certificate used primarily to indicate that one has been authorized by a higher authority to transmit a certain subject or text of Islamic knowledge and here we talk about Quran, we talk about ijaza in Tajweed or Hafs. It includes this ijaza a chain or sanat to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for us to do that, inshallah, Rabbul Alameen. Uh, and firstly, I want to say something uh, for you because I want you to try to share in, uh, us in reading and memorization because this will help you a lot, inshallah. And don't feel shy to read because we are here to learn the greatest thing in this life. And I'd like you to remember what the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in this hadith that Aisha, may Allah be blessed with her, uh, narrated, she said that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Verily, the one, remember, the one who recited the Quran beautifully, smoothly, and precisely, he will be in the company of the noble angels and obedient ones. And the, as for the one who recites with difficulty, 
throw its reverses, then it will have it twice that reward. So the one who recites with difficulty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him his reward twice. So inshallah, I'd like you to try to read, to listen to you, uh, to see how you pronounce this and that, to see how are the, what we call the makharij with you. As we said, inshallah, uh, here we try to uh, learn the Tajweed rules and read the surah and explain the common mistakes in it. And if you can, or if you have the desire of you want to memorize this surah that I explain, inshallah, you can memorize it and read it without looking in the next live session, inshallah. Okay, we talked about Surah Al-Fatiha. Now, inshallah, we'll start to talk about the short, short surahs in Quran from Juz 30, which is called Juz Amma. So inshallah, today we'll talk about Surah An-Nas. When I finish, if you want to read Surah Al-Fatiha again, that's okay. If you read Surah An-Nas, Inshallah, and we can read today, Inshallah, uh, some ayat from Surah Ar-Rahman also. Inshallah, Rabbil Alameen. So I have, I have show you firstly Surah An-Nas to follow me, Inshallah, and after that you can read. This is Surah An-Nas, okay? Uh, but before I start with this Surah, I'd like to tell you something. How to go from Surah to Surah? When you are reading the Quran in uh, a Taraweeh prayer or uh, in the night prayer, or when you are reading the Quran from Mus'haf or something like this, and you go from Surah to Surah, how to go from Surah to Surah, uh, how to pronounce the Basumala between these two Surahs. For example, this is Surah Al-Falaq. And after Surah Al-Falaq, Surah Al-Nas. If you want now to go from Surah Al-Falaq to Surah Al-Nas, how to go, how to pronounce Basmala? We have three ways, three ways you can do to go from Surah to Surah. And there is one way that is not allowed to do. And I'll show you the three ways that you can do and the one that is not allowed to do. When I go from Surah Al-Falaq to Surah Al-Nas, for example, this is the last ayah in Surah Al-Falaq. And this is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And after that, this is the beginning of Surah Al-Nas. So how I go from this Surah to this Surah? We have three ways. The first way that you join the three of them. Join the end of this Surah with Basmala, with the beginning of this Surah, in one breath, in one breath, like this. <clears throat> But I have to say, as you know, as we said before, when you start reading the Quran, you have to say, I When I start from the middle of Surah, I have to say, But as for Bismillah Rahman Rahim, if I start from the middle of Surah, okay, I can to say it or not. I have the choice. But at the beginning of Surah, I have to say it. So I can say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Now, I'd like you to focus on this. I want now to go from this Surah to this Surah. How can I do that? The first way, وَمِنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدَ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ What I did here is that I joined the end of Surah to Basmala, to the beginning of Surah, in one breath. This is the first way. The second way, I can cut the three off from each other. So I will say, وَمِنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدٍ 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سوري اجين ومن شر حاسد اذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل اعوذ برب الناس what i did is that i read the last ayah and i stop then بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم and stop after that i start the new surah the third way that you stop at the end of this surah then you join بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم to the beginning of surah like this ومن شر حاسد اذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم